welcome to Otter's Wood on a wild camp tonight. Um, I can't say where I am, this is uh, private woods, um, family owned actually. And um, I hadn't realised until we visited you know, a few, well, a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, that uh, this was part of their home. So um, here I am, Otter's Wood, it's called Otter's Wood. Uh, by me because the the otter has been seen on the river just over there so I'm not sure we'll see one today but uh, anyway welcome to the video So the setup is the DD frontline hammock and uh, comes with a mesh. I uh, don't know if I'll bother with that tonight, it's quite warm. And I've got the 3x3 three three, uh, DD tarp Coyote Brown. So I've set it up, I might adjust it just now. But um, it's nice, it's just starting to rain, I think it's going to rain overnight. But uh, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. So um, I'm going to set my stove up, stoves, and then we'll start cooking. So I'll uh, see you in a minute. Okay, so hopefully, I'm going to take my hat off. Hopefully you can see this. We're going a bit dusk. That's better. So what I've got today is two stoves. My Coleman 533 and my uh, domestic, the other um, Trangier stove. With a simmering, so I just want to top that up. I'm using two stoves because I'm having um, lamb chops, boiled potatoes, green beans, which are there from the garden, and uh, homemade gravy. So I need to prime this actually. You think they're gonna fight? <laughs> right, you can see the stoves are going. There's the potatoes. They're going on the trang here. But while that's happening, it has to be done. You might see some shopping bags. I didn't bring um, rucks. Well, I did bring my rucksack, but uh, I've mainly brought some bags because I'm parked. Well, within easy walking distance, shall we say so? So, cheers. These were grown. By Mrs. H. I played to her. Right, that seems to be uh, playing ball. So And also they've said there's some uh, something scratching in the woods so I brought this with me like a trail cam but I bought this in Maplins about 10 years ago uh, if not longer but there's no sound on it but at least it'll pick something up if there's anything there hopefully 
So yeah, lamb chops, potatoes, beans, runner beans, and then um, I'm going to make the gravy from the fat of the chops in this pan and then add it using the water from that and hopefully it'll work. Are you ready? Perfect. Right, sorry to scare you, the ghostly look, but uh, these chops are nearly ready and um, the potatoes are not far off. So, uh, and I'm hungry. Looking forward to this. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is in there, there's an oxo and some gravy salt. And to that I'm going to add some flour. But that there is flavour, you see. You see that? That there is flavour, right. So now, the gravy in. Bit hot. Bit of water. And then watch what happens. As I say, cold water doing better with the flowers to stop the lumps. But when you're out in the woods like this, a few lumps is nothing. When you create, oh my word, beautiful gravy like that. They're done to perfection, so this can go off. So I'll get back to you when I plate up. And there, we have lamb chops, potatoes, runner beans, covered in lascentos of gravy homemade thank you very much the lamb it's gorgeous mm. the gravy is amazing Mm. And the beans. Mm. Delicious. I'll get back to you when I finished. Um, yeah, so it's 20 past 10 at the moment. Um, dinner was absolutely superb. Enjoyed that. Um, just had a chat with the family members. So they're all going to bed now. 
uh, and I'm having a few uh, beers, enjoying it, chilling, listening to the river in the background. Heard the owl, um, stunning. So um, I think I'll sleep well. It forecast rain, that hasn't happened. So uh, there we go. So hopefully have a good night's sleep. So the next time I'll see you will be in the morning. And, uh, unless something happens in the night <laughs> with filming. So um, yeah, so uh, that's it. Good night and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Slept like a log, which is a good thing in the woods. Just woke now, it's uh, half past six. Bird song has started. Let's uh, kettle on now and we'll have some breakfast. Well, a cup of tea first, then we'll think about breakfast. First brew of the day. It's a lovely sound. Just rinse this out. And what I do is bring, if I can cut off for a bit, um, I freeze milk, fresh milk, yesterday, you know, the day before yesterday, and uh, the day before you do it, yeah? and then wrap it in foil, and then this morning, it's thawed, and it's still cool. Yorkshire tea.
There's no rubbish in a minute. Perfect. Start prepping. Make some little more a knife. using the lid as a chopping board. Can you see this? I thought I'd uh, brought too many really, but um, they soon whittle down to nothing. I'm going to Martins. So that's it, so we'll get the, um, that's having prepped, so we'll get oil in there, get this lit again, start the baking off and then chuck all this in with it. If it'll fit in. Nothing nicer than the smell of frying bacon.
And that is about done, I think. And there we have it. Bacon, chestnut mushrooms and tomatoes. With HP sauce. I was there eating away and I didn't press record. <laughs> anyway, bacon, chestnut, mushrooms, and tomatoes. Mm. Done to perfection. Always tastes great outside, doesn't it? 10 times, 20 times better. And you're always glad you've taken the effort to do it. Mm. There would have been an egg with this, by the way. But someone, mention no names, at the last one. And I wasn't going to buy half a dozen just to come here for one. Mm. This is a beautiful camp with good food, nature, beautiful. So I'll finish this and I'll get back to you. So yesterday I set up a trail cam here. Uh, it's a good way from where I was camping, but uh, whether it's caught anything, I don't know. I'm gonna check. So that's it. That's the end of my wild camp in Otter's Wood. And uh, a big thank you to the estate owners. You know who you are. Uh, very enjoyable night. Um, the bird song is fantastic. Uh, in the river, the sound of the river. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.